While the Visual Observations team gather video and images from across the whole inspection area, the Seismic team also want to get their installation set up as soon as possible. The cavern collapse events that we are looking at are rapidly decaying. Right now we are at the diminishing end of that exponential decay. The seismic stations are extremely sensitive and will potentially detect tremors from events many thousands of kilometers away. By correlating measurements between the stations, they can determine which events have occurred inside the inspection area, and this helps home in on potential areas of interest. We see a lot of regional events, tectonic events, or teleseismic events which are far away. Today, we found a relevant event which is inside within the inspection area and uh, with probably an explosion. But the seismic team have their own problems. Often the installations have to be left unguarded out in the open, and whilst they do their best to camouflage them, they can't guarantee they won't be tampered with. We think it's little, little mice and rodents um, that are doing it. Effectively immense. We have lost the data from the time that the cables have been cut. But the central element is still continuing to record data both in the vertical and the horizontal uh, components for the central station. So it is, it is very, it's still very useful. With all these difficulties, the seismic team hope they can get the information they need in time. In visual observations, they have resolved their difficulty with the inspected state party regarding the viewing of the overflight material. We had a discussion, uh, and at the end of that discussion we agreed then to hold the data in joint storage in the receiving area until we both, both parties could sit down and review the, the data together. Now visual observations are beginning to visit areas of interest that have been identified by the overflight. Could this suspicious surface feature have been made by an underground nuclear explosion? Find out next time.